The law offices of Spar and Bernstein with two locations in New York, 2901 White Plains Road in the Bronx and 225 Broadway in Manhattan. Call now to make appointments at 1-800-LAWLEY. 50 men on one side of the boat and 50 men on the other side of the boat. Right. But as soon as some men start going from one side of the boat to the other, it starts tipping over and it eventually capsizes. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the best way I can describe it. So what happened was is that the Democrats took away something the Republicans wanted, which was cheap labor for business, which was those Y visas for people to come into the United States, work uh, temporarily, and then go back home. Mm -hmm. um, once they did that, the Republicans started putting up amendments to make it more difficult for people who are here out of status to get what's called their Z visa, which is also what we talked about. You know, there was one amendment that said if you used a fake identity card to get a job, you're an aggravated felon, and therefore you would be barred from getting a Z visa, and that basically would encompass 80% of the people out there. So they were doing everything they could to basically gut, you know, the Z visa since the Democrats took away uh, 200,000 of their Y visas, which was those um, temporary workers. Now, those amendments were failing, but there were supposedly about another 120 amendments that were still coming down the road. So the Democrats, the head of the Democratic uh, Party, Senator uh, Reid, he said, you know, this is ridiculous. We're not going to sit here for another three weeks debating this to let the Republicans come with one bad amendment after the other. Uh, we're going to end the, end the debate right now. We're going to end the immigration debate, and we're going to go on a final vote on what the bill is exactly as it is where it stood as of Thursday night. And in order to stop the debate under Senate rules, you need, it's called cloture, you need 60 votes, 60 senators to say the debate is coming to an end and we are now going to take a final vote on this bill. And they tried to uh, invoke cloture in the morning, uh, get 60 senators to vote to say this debate is coming to an end and we are now going to come to a vote and they couldn't get 60 senators to say the debates could have come to an end because there were too many senators who wanted their own their own um, slant on the immigration bill because there were still about 120 amendments to vote on that, that would have taken them another three weeks to keep going through this. And most of those amendments were by Republicans trying to gut the Z visa. Right. Um, so they tried again. Thursday night, but Senator Reid said this time, he said, if, the if we're not going to invoke cloture, we're not going to come to a final vote tonight, meaning we are going to vote on this immigration bill, yes or no, tonight. If we don't deal with it now, then to, what? Then we're going to talk about other business because we're not going to discuss immigration anymore. And that's pretty that much what threat. went down. Okay. And what went down last night was they couldn't get 60 senators to agree to say we are now going to go uh, vote on this yay or nay or yes and no. And since 60 senators couldn't invoke cloture, then to today there'd be more amendments, Monday more amendments, and the debate would have went on indefinitely. Senator Reid said, this is getting ridiculous. We're not going to sit here and debate this for another six weeks. We're going to end the debate, and, I, and I'm gonna, we're going to debate something else. So they'll talk about, I think now they're going, they, they moved on to the environment. So they're, they just finished. He said he took immigration off the table. So right now, uh, right now, as it is, immigration is off, off the table. The table. Right. What does so, that mean? And it's, and it's a shame, the shame of it all, okay? It's, it's the Republicans who kept, you know, giving these amendments. But listen, it's the Democrats, too, okay? So it's both um, sides. You know, it's both sides. It's more Republicans than Democrats. And it's President Bush who talks a big game about immigration, but when the immigration debate is happening, he's off in Europe. But let me ask you something. So, um, right. so that's not to say it won't come back. It's dead. Right. Okay. The the theme of today mm. is that immigration is on life support. Right. It's not dead. Okay. And can be resurrected in another month, or six weeks, or eight weeks. And uh, based on a lot of you know a lot of the statements that I've seen from the senators this morning that they do want to bring it back. But when they bring it back in four weeks or six weeks, they don't want to go through the circus that has been happening for the last three weeks. What I mean, it's been an immigration mean? circus right. for three weeks. All right. To From, cu cutting to the one chase. Sec, one second. I'll, I'll, let you, I'll answer your questions in a second. It's been uh, an immigration circus for three weeks. So I think what's going to happen is 
that there's going to be a lot of behind the scenes dealings and handshakes and I'll give you this if you give me that type of thing rather than out in the open. And then hopefully they come to a consensus and when they bring it back in four weeks or six weeks, it's not going to be this three week debate. It's just going to be, okay, now we're going to vote on it. Yes or no. Okay. And I think that's what's going to happen. All right. Here's my question. You ready for me now? Yes. Yes. Um, I'm bracing for your question. You're bracing, right? Bracing. I have thousands of people that's listening right now. You have more than thousands. Yeah, more than thousands. According to the Arbitron ratings yeah, that I've seen. Yeah, tons. I mean, I mean, they're right. all listening, right? Ex- yes. Ex- I, mean, I mean, it's not a rumor, it's the truth. I mean, the Immigration Link has made this radio program the number one program on the station. It's made the station. Yeah. Because right. of the Immigration Link, it has made us number one, numero uno on the station, the most right. listened to radio program. And, that and you could- think, you think Mr. O'Shaughnessy ever gave me a call to say, hey, thanks? <laughs> no, he said hey, that. Hey, thank you very he has, much. He has said thanks to me through... But not to me. Yeah, well, are, you want me to have him call you, man? That would be nice. I would have Mr. <laughs> you know, Cindy... That would be nice. Cindy, David, um, Don Stevens, can you please have Mr. O'Shaughnessy call Mr. Bernstein? Yeah, and tell just him say, thanks. hey, you know what? You've been doing a good job he, on my he, station for 10 years. Never once. He's crying like those little babies in the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, yes, yes anyway, you have so thousands question, of people, thousands of people listening to right. us right now, and and here's here's the question that's in their head: uh-huh. What do we do now? Okay, this is what you do. What do we do now? We're out of status. What does right. this mean for us now? What am I okay. supposed to do? Okay, okay. Brad, you're giving me this message. What am I supposed to do right now? Where do means, I go? Where do I turn? What do I do? Me, okay, it means for the next month or two or three months. It's going to be status quo. That's what it means. Where we thought it was going to be the law changes would be August. Now maybe it'll be pushed back to the fall when it comes back for a debate uh, in another month or two. Because hopefully the Senate's going to bring it back up by the end of the summer and then it'll go to the House in the fall. Okay? But what you should be doing now is one thing and one thing only. We had this discussion Get last night. your name in the system yes i will repeat it again yes get your name in the system i was saying whether last night whether you are here out of status uh whether it's for a family member back home because they you have to look at because they have more time there is good they have more time good news the good news in this the bad is news that is good it news. It provides people more time to get their name in, in the, the system, system before the law changes. And why do you want to get your name in the system before the law changes? Because I've been saying to do it for 10 years. Every time I'm on the radio, people in the system get through faster. And just as I predicted, the law that was going to pass was if you're in the system, you are going to get your green card before everybody else who has done nothing. So it gives people, if you have a job to sponsor you, people were coming to me to do a job sponsorship just this week. And you know what I told them? I said, you know what? I think the law is going to pass. You're not going to have time to get the job sponsorship in. Guess what? The now law is going to be pushed off a few months. Now they can all run Now in. they can come in and do their job sponsorship. And I would, if I were them, okay? I would People run People were as coming in. I want to file for my brother and sister. You think I could do it? I said, you know, I think it's going to be too late. Now it's not too late. People were coming in. I want to file for my mother. I want to file for, my mother wants to file for my sister. Too late. Now it's not too late. Okay? So the only good news in all of this is that the Johnny come latelys. The people who want to see it to believe it. Well, they just saw it. They were going to cut off people from filing for their family members who were not in the system. It's going to happen anyway. If you're in the system before they cut it off, you'll be a very happy person and the person you filed for will be a happy person. 